telecasts. Not only is this the 40th anniversary of the band, it's also the 30th anniversary of our album, Mystification, which we'll be doing some songs from tonight as well. And uh, I guess I'll introduce the band members while they're changing their steering here. Back on the drums from Germany, Mr. Noidy. <laughs> On lead vocals, Mr. Brian Hellroy Kendrick. Good you. A lot of people don't realize this, but he's actually been working for the band since 1981. So, in one way or another, not, not as lead singer, we, we uh, came on what, that, 2000, 2001 as a uh, singer with us, but he was a uh, roadie for us for years. Started out as a 15 year old that was just carrying gear for us so that he could get into the bars to drink beer. True story. And uh, eventually he became our road manager, and then uh, when I found out he could sing a little bit like me, it was like, oh shit, my voice is getting really old because I'm fucking 59 now. And uh, so we brought him on to help uh, keep us on the road, you might say. He's doing a great job. And then over here, the guy that busted the string so uh, graciously on the very first song. <laughs> His name is Phil Ross, and he's the newbie of the bunch. He's only been with us for seven months, but give him a hand anyway, because... Uh, now, you keep your hands busy over there. Don't, don't let him be in his And uh, let's see, what else can I tell you while he's doing this? Uh, Sorry, dude. We've been... Uh, uh, this is like a five-week tour we've been doing in uh, Europe later on. We're going to do a U.S. tour as well. But we started off at the Keep It True Festival in, uh, in Germany. That was great. Uh, in case you don't know, uh, Sarah Thumble is back, back out on the road after 20 some odd years. And, uh, other than that, shit, I'm running out of stuff to say. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a bit. Where's the headband tonight, Mark? Uh, what was that? Uh, Where's your headband tonight? We miss it. Oh, uh, actually, it's it's in the dressing room, but it, I broke some of the stuff that holds it together because I've been wearing it all through this tour and I broke some of the bands on it. So if I put it on, it sits right about on my nose. Right and, you know, I, I can actually play guitar without looking at it, but I can't walk around the stage very well without seeing so. Uh, I don't think you're going to do much walking around here tonight. <laughs> actually, there's more room than there was the last one. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, I could do a Stevie Wonder impression with it, you know. <laughs> Horrible. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. terrible. Uh, uh, how many? Uh, first time Sam and Elle wrote. Fucking man, man. Welcome to the family. Very much. Thank you. All right. Are you done down there yet? For no. God's sake. Oh, it's, it's the dumbest one to change. Guess what? <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Oh, one string too many. <laughs> Give it to you. I'll tell you what, um, we did a show in uh, Stockholm with Leif Edling's uh, new band, Doomsday Kingdom. You don't know who Leif Edling is, he's uh, the, one of the founders of the band Camelot. And I've been friends with him since like 1987. And uh, we went out to dinner with him the night after the show, and he kept on doing this joke where he'd go, because he's got five strings on his face. <laughs> and it's like unheard of to doom metal people, you know, to have more than four strings on a bass guitar. So. And uh, his wife, Beatrice, sent him a picture today with all of us going. <laughs> 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 Well, I'll tell you what, you guys wanted to hear a guitar solo anyway, didn't you? <laughs> 